to John Brock. There's his hand. He's going to drive the trailer, as he did for Disney. We should give John Brock a hand for that. All right, so he's going to be here. We're going to load the trailer, and we're going to leave by 7.30. Um, make sure you've all filled out the permission slip online. If you can't figure it out, they're going to call the kids that didn't do it yet to the office tomorrow and kind of show them how to do it. But it's all through Parent Square online, okay? And I think um, Kira already explained that to everybody. But just in case, we got to have those permissions. Left. We're not doing the, the, here's a hard copy, sign it, turn it in, photocopy it this time, okay? Um, so we're going to leave by 7.30, hopefully sooner, get to San Juan Hills High School. And these guys are going to load up the stage, and they're the first group on at 9 o'clock. So we're going to try to warm up as long as we can. They're going to play at 9. You're welcome to come and watch. You're also welcome to come and be a chaperone. We even have room on the bus for you. There will be also Costco pizza that day. I'm telling you. So you can eat it all tonight. There'll be more. Uh, so these guys are going to play at 9. They're going to do a clinic at 9.30 with the other judge. And then at 10 o'clock, they're going to put their instruments away and go in and watch our other groups perform. They're going to hear more La Paz groups. They're going to hear Serrano Intermediate School. They're going to hear Rancho Santa Margarita Intermediate School. Lots of, lots of great groups, OK? El Toro High School is going to be there. And the Laguna Hills High School is going to be there. So lots of really, really talented groups. It's not a competition. So we don't say, you know, hope you win. It's an evaluation. Okay, so they can get a superior, that's the highest. We're not quite there yet. An excellent, I hope that's where we are tonight. Then good, fair, and poor. So I imagine if somebody listens to you and goes, yeah, it was poor. <laughs> I've heard of it happening actually. I know a school that got a fair 11 years in a row. Fair. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not. Uh, Last year, all of our groups got unanimous superiors, which is very exciting. But it's quite difficult, especially with the beginning band. This is the beginning band. We call them intermediate band, but the beginning band. And most of them played either clarinet or trumpet last year. So we're very excited to play for you tonight. You're going to hear some hiccups. Some of the clarinets like to play in rests. Hopefully they won't do that tonight, but fingers crossed. So we're going to start off with the David Schaefer piece entitled Thunder Bay Legend. And once again, this is our period five and period three combined intermediate band. La Paz.
Isn't that right, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Now, what happens at festival is I get off the podium, and if you watch most of the groups, the kids sit there like this. Tell the judges, go, please continue. I never do that. Every single year, other directors come up to me and go, wow, that's such a great idea. You go around and tune them and stuff. There's not like a rule. They don't like tape my mouth shut. I wouldn't do very well with that because I couldn't eat my Costco pizza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cold for breakfast, guys. It's delicious. Uh, so we'll play that piece. The judges will write furiously and they'll also do comments. So they actually send me the comments and we get to listen to them. And again, the goal is to tell them the things that they still need to improve upon while letting them know that overall it sounds great. I mean, you know, you heard them a year ago. They were all on clarinet and trumpet playing one day a week. Or violin, right? So they were getting some experience playing, but now that they play every day and they picked an instrument that maybe was not offered last year, and they're getting good, you can hear, for the most part, it's good. Okay, it's gotta be really good to be superior, okay? Uh, but I'm super proud of them nonetheless. It's really hard to put a class together when it's two classes. So our next piece is gonna be called uh, Thunderstorms. It's gonna feature our percussion section. And uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Corey Townley, who's our percussion instructor. He's not here tonight because he's teaching lessons, but he will be at festival next week. He's this kind of a guy. He's coming to festival Thursday, and then on Friday, he's going to have back surgery. And our French horn instructor is also going to have back surgery next Friday. Crazy, huh? So festival, back surgery. And then my birthday's the day after that. So I'm going to be sweet 16. It doesn't quite work when you've been working somewhere 31. My mom always said she was 29. And then when I turned 29, she goes, all right, I'll be 39. And I'll, I swear to you, uh, we didn't know how old she was even when she passed. I, I just made up a number and put it on her headstone. I, I didn't know. Uh, really, we, we still don't know. So there it is. Uh, Thunderstorms feature percussion section by Mr. Michael Story.
thunderstorms. Could you tell the storm was coming? We've been having such weird weather lately. It was really cool. We were practicing this piece pretty regularly a few weeks ago. And remember, we had all the thunderstorms. Remember your phone said, it's sunny today. Zero percent chance of precipitation. And it's pouring. Mr. Microwave should have made a phone, maybe, huh? Would have been more accurate. Um, so we're going to do one more piece for you. Uh, again, it's uh, really a pleasure to work with your children. Uh, they're, they're interesting. <laughs> you guys are like, I have one of them. Some of you have two. God bless you. Uh, but in, in all sincerity, you can see, see Christian over here playing rock, paper, scissors when I told him to act like a civilized human being on stage. And that's the best one. funny because we talk about, you know, guys, you're not really mature. They're like, yeah, you know, I'm guilty. You know, so we're working on that. But it's kind of cool that they can uh, start to blossom into uh, musicians. And the neat thing about this is they can do this forever. Most of them play sports, and they should. But they're going to age out or get injured or something. That's how it works. My son was a pretty good baseball player. A lot of his former guys that he used to play with are in the major leagues. Some of his teammates, as a matter of fact. Um, he's, he works for Universal in Orlando. He's happily married, good kid, but you know, by the time he was 16, his shoulder was, shoulder was sore. Not enough Costco pizza, I think. So, uh, but what he did was, when, when he got like, too injured to play baseball, he just went back to playing the trumpet. And I know he misses it. And then, you know, my older son, of course, is our bass instructor, and he regularly plays in town at the Drake Hotel, among others, in Laguna Beach. So um, music is a beautiful thing. It's a lifelong skill. And even though I know all these kids won't play forever, they can. And it's kind of neat that they're not doing a lot of things right now that they can do forever. And uh, so that's why it's such a privilege to work with them. We're going to conclude with a, a piece entitled The Pursuit of Knowledge. Uh, this is supposed to be the hardest piece. It's supposed to be. But you can tell when they play how much they like it. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Thank you for being a great audience. I hope you can come to festival next week. It's really fun. Even if you can just come for an hour and watch them play at 9 o'clock, it would be terrific. Uh, we'd love to have you stay and be a chaperone. The more the merrier. Basically, you're just sitting amongst the kids and making sure that they're representing our school and our district with class. Right? It's easy. They're just middle school kids. Right? Right, Kristen? Just middle school kids. Play rock, paper, scissors on stage. All right, pursuit of knowledge.
CBS, 9 o'clock Thursday. March 21st.